Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing an outfits of the week slash, you know, what I'm currently wearing video. Um, I'm gonna show you five outfits from the past like five days or so that I've compiled and um, just give you a little glimpse into what Meg's been wearing. I don't know why I just talked about myself in third person. I wanted to film one of these because one, I haven't filmed an outfits of the week since I moved to Oregon and I feel like my style hasn't really changed, but it has gotten just more like comfortable, you know, <laughs> like I'm wearing pretty much the same fits I was before, but it's always, I'm looking into comfortability first. Can I garden in it? Can I go into the pig pen with it? Can I get it dirty? That is pretty much the three main things that I have in mind when I'm dressing myself, but I also like to look cute, you know, spice it up on some days. And all of these outfits are thrifted, by the way, not like every single piece. I'll be telling you where everything is from, but basically at least one item in every outfit is from a thrift store. Okay, shall we get into the thing? Let's get into the thing. I'm gonna be talking through it because I always get copyrighted for tunes on these things. Um, today's fit is accompanied by these little bronze piggy earrings. <laughs> That's my main accessory. This top is, I don't know when I got it. I also think that I have a stain on one of the boobs here from, yep, there it is. I was making pizza the other night and I think it's an oil stain, so what can you do? I got it dirty. This shirt, I don't know where exactly I got it. I think somewhere, I thrifted it definitely in LA, but it's just like a basic little army green tank. And I like to wear it braless and then have it like cinch in at the waist down here. So this skirt is doing it for me. I got this from House of Vintage in downtown Portland and it's just amazing. I mean, like this is me in a skirt, you know? It's like almost a maxi skirt. It pretty much just goes down to like my ankles and then my ankles show. I just realized that I have mud on my foot from going to feed my pigs this morning. So that's great. I also have these little brown loafers on. They have these little tassels on them, like leather tassels. And when Larry was a puppy, he teethed through one of the tassels so it's like half a tassel on my right foot but these are from goodwill they're great fit me perfect and i wear them all the ding dang time but yeah this is the first fit i love her dearly i love her so much i just love this color it's great for my skin tone and i wear it all the friggin' time. Also guys, just so you know, I had to refilm this whole entire video because the first time that I filmed it, every time I went back there, I was out of focus and you couldn't even see the fit. Like, what a rip off. Okay, next outfit. This fit is literally like I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> it is like a t-shirt and basically pajama pants. And then it's accompanied by this little pink bandana. Who knows where this is from? I think this one was actually Finley's. Um, that he added to my collection. But if you wanna know where to get the good, good bandanas, you can get them at craft stores, yes, but also when you get like a new bandana, they're very crispy and not worn in like this one is. And if you ever go to like large events, like a music festival or something like that, um, a lot of people wear bandanas and then they drop them. And then you pick them off off the ground, you take them home, you wash them, and that's how I got at least four to five of my good bandanas because they're worn in by somebody. You know, those are the best ones. So basically what I'm trying to say is I either got this from Finley or I thieved it. <laughs> but on a more positive note, <laughs> This shirt says DNA and Friends Music Festival and then the date of when this took place. Finley and I, about like two weeks ago almost, um, went to Virginia for his older sister's wedding. Delilah and Alex tied the knot, frickin' cuties. For their rehearsal dinner, they had like a little music festival instead where basically like all of their friends went up, not all of them, but a lot of their friends went up and performed songs and Finley and I got to sing a song together, which was great. It was um, We Are All Compost and Training by Ramshackle Glory. I'll use it as the outro song in this so you can hear a little snippet and I'll link it down below because it's a great tune. But anyways, yeah, they were giving out free t-shirts for the event and I got it. The decal is light pink, even though it might be be showing up white on camera but yeah that's why I did the light pink on the top but these pants are like a pale pink satin number um, I love them I thrifted them in Chicago and they're so amazing and soft I also am just wearing my dirty ass Air Force ones on the bottom of them but um yeah they're like super soft on the outside and kind of silky and then on the inside they're like flannel lined so i can wear these into winter and just they're amazing but they do kind of remind me of miranda sings when i look at them <laughs> like i just imagine her wearing these in red you know but uh, i don't know 
I don't know what it is about them. I just saw them and I said, I need those pants. So I got them. So yeah, this is my comfy look. This is like my PJ look. Next ensemble. Okay, this next outfit is probably one of my faves. I wore this to the DMV the other day to get my new Oregon license and I wanted to wear something yellow, but not something too yellow, you know? So I had just like the stripes around the collar being like a little pop, but this shirt I also thrifted from House of Vintage as well as these overalls. And I featured both of these pieces separately in um, one of my most recent hauls and that haul was like overwhelmingly big. If you missed it, you need to go and check it out because I was so in love with every single piece that I picked up and I've been overly wearing them since. But this is my favorite combo of pieces because the colors just go so well together. Like the red, the yellow, the blue. It's all in the shirt, man. So House of Vintage, shout out to them for putting this ensemble together for me, basically. Well, I put it together, but they provided the pieces, you know? But yeah, I just have my Air Force Ones on. Again, I know that they're dirty as shit, okay? I don't even wanna show them to you because they're too intensely dirty. I like dedicated them as my farm shoes now, and I just go into the pig pen with them and they get their snouts all over them and like rub mud all over them. And I just don't even care, you know, I don't care. I've accepted that I cannot keep a pair of shoes white. So I shouldn't have white shoes, you know? They've just turned into a nice muddy tan. <laughs> but yeah, I love my Winnie the Pooh overalls. He's like running away from the bees here with their honey, which is a little rude, but I still love the overalls, man. They're like original Disney all on the hardware. It says Pooh, but it has like a Disney tag in the back. And I just love how well made they are. They're the perfect color, a nice tan. I can work in them. I can play in them. I can do everything in these bad boys. And I freaking love them. These are probably like one of my favorite things in my wardrobe, honestly. Okay. I'll change into the next fit. Okay, I will admit this next outfit only has one thrifted piece and it's just the headscarf. Well, you could wear it not on your head, but this is from Salvation Army. I got this when I was in Virginia um, in like downtown Warrington and I couldn't not get it. I mean, anything that's yellow when I'm thrifting, I'm like, I need it. It's a disorder I have, honestly. <laughs> I have yellow shopping disorder. But anyways, this matched pretty much perfectly with this yellow and this tie-dye t-shirt. I got this at Bonnaroo 2014, and y'all know I love my dream catchers. I have them hanging all over my room. And so when I saw this behind the merch stand, I was like, I freaking need it. And it's also like neon colored, and this shirt in black light is insane. It's like so popping, all of these colors. It's popping. But yeah, this was from the year where um, Elton John headlined and I have such pleasant memories of that year. That was my first ever Bonnaroo was at 2014 with my sister Lindsay. And I remember during Elton John's performance, we were listening to him on the Ferris wheel and I could hear Tiny Dancer playing in the background and it's just nostalgia at its finest, you know? But I paired it with these jeans from LF. Since the last time you guys saw these jeans, I ripped a huge freaking gap in them because they're literally just holding on by strings, you know? And I was jumping over the pig fence and they just went whoosh, ripped right open. So I have a huge gap here, but it's kind of a look, you know? But I love these jeans. They have little daisy painted decals all over them. And I get questions about these jeans every time I wear them. They're from LF, uh, which is like a store in LA. It's pretty expensive, but they have these sample sales from time to time. And I got them from like a huge sale that they had. Um, but yeah, that was four years ago. I don't know if you could still find them, but I'm sure you could like make them for yourself, you know? But anyways, you already know it's on the feet, baby. Let's put on the last look. Okay, this outfit, I absolutely love this combo together. I mean, it has like pretty much the same color brown in the center of the embroidery of this sunflower hat that I got from one of you, actually. You sent it to my P.O. box. You said, I got this on Etsy. I rarely wear it anymore. It reminds me of you. It says good vibes over the brim. I also put this in that haul I was talking about earlier. But yeah, I literally have every shade. You can probably barely see my hat rack back there. But I have every shade imaginable of yellow caps now. So the nice pastel yellow, we love it. I love a nice embroidered piece. But I paired it with this, it's almost like a maroon brown. It's a weird combination, like a burgundy brown kind of number. But this is just a little tank top that I got from Topshop. I love just like a nice basic. I also have this in gray. So yeah, I paired it with these pants. I know that brown and black is kind of like a fashion no-no. I don't know why, 
but this together it's like I don't see that happening I don't see this clashing okay this goes with every kind of color in these pants imaginable these pants I feel like I also wore in my last outfits of the week um, paired with like a yellow tie top I recently gave that top away to my friend Stefan for his birthday so R.I.P. But anyways, I've now just paired it with another yellow piece in my wardrobe, so everything is fine. I'm fine. But these pants I thrifted a really long time ago. Honestly, don't even know where. Somewhere in Georgia. Probably upwards of five years ago I got these pants. I found them in the pajama section. That's where you can find some really good patterned pants at thrift stores. So keep that in mind, okay? These are like my faves. I wear them at least once a week. That's not even an exaggeration. They're the comfiest things ever. I love them dearly. I paired it with these Fenty slides. I love these things dearly as well. Um, you can tell because the decal is wearing off, but I feel like a lot of people wear these as like slippers or something, but I wear these out on the town all the time. We love a good olive green in this household. I was telling you guys that with the first look. So yeah, those were a great investment. One of my more expensive shoes, but it was worth it. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to invest in yourself you know, treat yourself right. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my latest looks. Like I said, comfortability is key and uh, you can still look cute doing it. While I'm here, might I also encourage you to thrift more instead of buying new. It's the way to go for sustainable fashion, folks. And you can find some really unique pieces that not many people have. So good luck to you out there with your thrifting adventures, brothers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, comment down below if you would like to see more outfits of the week from me because I love watching these. My friend Hitomi here on YouTube, she makes these pretty often and I just love watching them. I love her style and seeing that part of her life, you know, love clothes in this household. So um, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you want more of these. And if you do, ring that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. And until that next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. I fell asleep smoking, so I wake up on fire. Cause that might get me out.